The uh, beloved actress June Brown, who most famously played Doc Cotton in EastEnders, has died at the age of 95. And I'm going to read you the first three paragraphs of her Times obit, mm. as it contains the most extraordinary... I don't know what... Jump? You, chain, jump, yes, yeah. thank you. <laughs> change of tack I think I've ever read in an obit. And so it goes like this. The actress June Brown, who played the colourful Doc Cotton in 2,884 episodes of EastEnders, has died at the age of 95 at her home in Surrey. All right so far. A very bright light has gone out at EastEnders today, but we shall all be raising a sweet sherry in June's memory, a spokesman for the programme said. Brown died surrounded by family. End of paragraph two, we're OK. As a child, there was nothing June Brown liked better than putting a rabbit in a biscuit tin, gassing it and then cutting it up. What an odd thing to mention in the third paragraph <laughs> of an obit. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> I, yeah. Honestly, I, I thought it'd be, you know, I would say this earlier, but it'd be great is it is, is the shot of, you know, this is obviously, everybody's read this, everybody's at the funeral memorial service, and the whole front three rows are, rows are people dressed as rabbits. <laughs> she would be cancelled nowadays. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, she'd be, a, but it's, uh, it's uh, for people of a certain generation, I mean, who grew up watching her, she was like a daily, you know. Yeah, well, she was said, great. She was part of our life. But she was also, what's interesting, was the first time you, you ever see her being interviewed, when you what you're like, wait a minute, who's that posh lady? And Because she was so, she had this, like, such a clipped sort of English posh yeah. voice. But it was such a, it was such a ma massive jump for like an eight-year-old to see her being interviewed on Wogan or wherever it was, that you sort of like, wait a minute, there's a whole... Are you telling me these aren't the real people? And that was... She was kind of the first person who did that for me. I'm going to defend her rabbit habits, if I OK. I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Like, you, you do I'm dogs, you do you? Well, no, <clears throat> only because um, Dad... My dad was born maybe three or four years after her, mm. and he just used to talk about... They used to catch rabbits all the time in World War II, especially when food was scarce, and they used to... Um, you know, catch them in little traps and things, and then they always used to dissect them, and some of them they'd eat, and then they just kind of look at the insides a bit like you know we did with frogs in biology or something. So, great! Okay, that, I'm <laughs> looking forward her. to reading your dad's obituary. <laughs> <laughs> um, Not too soon. I that didn't come out the right way. No, it did. He, 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 he left us two years ago, but okay. never mind. Um, Phew! <laughs> <laughs> Got to remember that one. <laughs>